Good day my schoolers and this is my school channel. My name is Abiola. Remember in this channel we are solving the jam CBT past question for the subject biology the year 2015. Don't go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. Welcome back to my school channel and in this video segment we are solving questions 1 to 20. So let's start with question number 1. A tissue is composed of a group of what? So when you talk about the organization, alright, so we have uh, macromolecules, then two organelles, then two cell, tissues, organ system, then we have um, organism, multicellular to be precise, okay? So this is a very good um, citation or reference to one of your textbooks. So uh, let's go back to the question giving us a tissue is composed of a group of what? Okay, a tissue is a composition or is composed of cells. Cells make up tissues and tissues make up organs. Okay, so the correct option here is option A for similar cells. Question number two. The population of different organisms that exist together in a habitat is called what? That is called community. You're talking about all of the populations available, okay, existing together. Uh, the biomes talks about a large natural terrestrial habitat, okay. Um, we talk about biosphere, that is any of the sphere where life can be found. It can be the atmosphere, it can be the lithosphere, it can be the hydrosphere. Then we go to ecology, you know, you are studying an organism at all. Put it that way. So the correct option is option C for community. Question three: uh, Which of the following serves as the brain box in man? Okay, when you talk about brain box, that means something providing um, a kind of housing or casing. In this context, we are talking about the brain. Okay, so what protects the brain? That is this core. All right, um, skeletal genera. All right, um, we have head. Head is um, less of a biological term, especially in the context of what we are talking about here. All right, head just referred to the upper part. All right, just to put here. So we, we are looking at option D, the spinal column. All right, um, that's around the backbone. Okay, that connects the brain to every other part of the body. So going back to the question given us. Which of the following serves as the brain box in man? Okay, in man, that is the skull. This serves as a protective um, function to the brain. So option B is very correct. Number four, which organ removes the largest amount of excess water from the body? Okay, so we are going to draw a logical conclusion from some presentations right now. At first, we should note that the body produces about um, 1.5 liters on average daily that's in the body and 95% of this urine is made up of water and urine is produced by the kidney so definitely that gives us a very strong move that the organ responsible for removal of largest amount of excess water should be the kidney so option C is very correct we know that um, the lungs also um, remove water Remember uh, when we breathe in and breathe out, okay? That um, some, yes, some quantity of water is being lost, not as, yeah, la not as in liquid form that we see it, okay? But it's being lost in the process of gaseous exchange. Then even through the skin when we sweat as well, alongside other products that um, go out with it, there are other things too, including water that follows, all right? And that is why we can taste our sweat and it has certain kind of taste. So of course the skin excretes water, the lungs as well, but the kidney um, removes the largest amount of excess water from the body. So the most viable option here is option C for kidney. Question five, a group of organisms of the same kind, okay, emphasis same kind, inhabits in the same environment is called what? That is a population. All right, when you talk about ecosystem, you are considering the biotic and the abiotic components, living and non-living. All right, so we talk about uh, habitat is the home where organism lives, 
Okay, so when you talk about species, you're talking about um, organisms that are closely related, you know, they have the same genetic heritage and they can freely interbreed. So the correct option here is option C for population. Do not forget that you can get any of the my school tools all you need to do click on that link in the description below it's going to move you to the my school website where you can get the my school mobile app or download the my school software so join me as we solve question six the light sensitive cells in the human eye is called the what all right so these sensitive cells they are also known as photoreceptors they are located in the retina all right so talking about the walls of the layers of the eye, the eye. so we have um, the outermost which is the sclerotic, we have the middle, which is the choroid, and we have the innermost, which is the retina. So it is in this retina that we have these photoreceptors. And we're talking about two, the cones and the rods, okay? The rods, they are responsible for white and uh, black and white visions, okay? Uh, talk about night vision, then the cones talk about color visions, all right? So, and the cones are also located in the yellow spots found here. All right, and that is the most sensitive layer to or path to light. Okay, so take note of the question. The light sensitive cells, not part. Now, the part would have been retina, but that particular cell or those particular cells, they are the cone cells. So the correct option here is option D for cones. Do not forget to hit that like button. Also, click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alert as soon as we upload the next video clip just for you. Seven. The earliest form of life in animal kingdom is the what? Okay, you can recall during the evolution of the higher land vertebrates, um, when we are talking about the circulatory system, you know, there is this kind of um, change that occur from gills to lungs. So, if we are going to pick on gills, majorly we'll be talking about Pisces, that is starting from fish. So the correct option is option C for Pisces. So the earliest form of life in animal kingdom is the Pisces or the fishes. Option C is very correct. Question 8. Which of the following disease is not sexually transmitted? Okay, talking about gonorrhea, sexually through sexual intercourse, syphilis, a venereal disease, IPS, we have um, sexual intercourse as well. Then for influenza, you can pick influenza as um, your flu, all right? So, and it's caused by the influenza virus. I can use that as well, at least in the description. And this is airborne. Okay, so airborne, sexual, sexual, sexual. So the correct option is option C for influenza. Number nine, which of the following is not a monocotyledon seed? All right, so you remember the monocotyledons and the dicotyledons, they are under angiosperms, flowering plants. Okay, monocotyledon means one seed leaf. So, and we should note this all cereals are monocots. All right, so if you look at all of the options provided, the exception here is the cowpea. The cowpea is a leguminous plant, this is a legume. So, the correct option here is option A for cowpea. Question 10 The lowest unit of classification is the what? Okay, so we have the kingdom, we have the phylum, we have the class, we have the order, we have the family, we have the genius and the species. So, the correct option here is the species. All right. Kingdom is first, then the phylum, then class, then order, then family, then the genius, then the species. So when you talk about the binomial nomenclature, you know, you are giving um, two names to something like for your maze, we have your Z maze, right, or is that sativa. So that's the genius and the species. So the correct option here is option D for the species. Eleven. One of the following diseases is caused by fungi. Okay. So this is caused by virus, this by fungi, this by bacteria, this by virus. So the correct option is option B, coffee leaf rust is caused by fungi. So option B is the correct option. 12. The byproduct of photosynthesis is what? Okay, so you know photosynthesis, presence of sunlight, you know so combination of this and this these are the reactants all right so what we're going to get as the product is this glucose this is h12o6 high energy containing then um we are having this and this okay this is the waste product given out all right this is the main product that's 
is being um, needed. All right. So this is the waste product. So the byproduct of photosynthesis is what? So I'm going to go for option, option B, which is oxygen. Option B is viable. Number 13. Gaseous exchange in the lungs takes place in the well. Okay. So talking about this whole thing put up here, we have the trashes. It's coming in. Then we have the bronchus. We have one here. We have one here. The two is being referred to the plural form is the bronchi. Okay, so this branches into the bronchioles, the small, tiny kind of root thing. Then we have this, then we now have this alveolar sacs. Okay, so it is in this sac where the gaseous exchange takes place. How? I'm just going to give us a very brief um, compilation on this. Okay, so the air coming in contains enough oxygen and little amount of carbon dioxide. What we have inside all right coming to this from the body in the blood contains high co2 and low oxygen so you can see that there is um, a kind of um, diffusion gradient already available so you can see this the co2 in the blood moves here all right where we have the air coming in containing enough oxygen so it moves in there then the oxygen from the air coming in moves into the blood then the circulation goes on and on in circles. So the correct option is option, option A for the alveoli. Number 14. In the eukaryotic cell, cellular respiration takes place in the what? So talking about the eukaryotic cell, you know, it's complex, then there's a well-defined nucleus, okay, compared to the prokaryotic cell, you know. The major ones when you talk about prokaryotic, you're talking about monerans, all right? So for the eukaryotic, you're talking about the fungi, you're talking about the plants, the animals, and what have you. So if we are going to look into the eukaryotic cell, cellular respiration takes place in the web. So when you're talking about the cell organelles, it takes place in the mitochondria. So the correct option here is option D for mitochondria. Question 15. One of the following causes Ebola fever. All right, so put it properly, um, this is referred to as the EHF, the Ebola hemorrhagic fever, or you can refer to it as the Ebola virus disease. Okay, so we can remember this uh, particular saga some few years back, you know, where some of us were told to go and have some baits of salt and hot water, you know. Such a funny moment for we Nigerians. So let's go back to the question giving us. One of the following causes Ebola fever. All right, that is option D for viruses. Option D is very correct. Do not forget that you can ask those questions right now. So all you need to do, click on that link in the description below. You're going to be taken to the My School website where you will meet with our solution providers. Ask those questions and within moments, they are going to give you the solutions that you need. So join me as we solve question 16. The theory of survival of the fittest was propounded by who? All right. By this man here, Charles Darwin. All right. Talk about natural selection as well. Robert Hooke, elasticity. And also in biology, you talk about the cell theory. Um, Jean Lamarck, of course. Uh, we are talking about um, use and disuse. Then we talk about cow ninions. We're talking about taxonomy. So the correct option here is option A for Charles Darwin. Going through our video clips, you may have better explanations to any of the questions we've tackled so far. Please would like to know all you need to do. Use that comment section below. Indicate the question number and the explanation you would recommend. 17. The deficiency of vitamin D leads to what? Okay, so vitamin D, you know, we can get that from, so, uh, from food sources or exposure to sunlight. All right, so, you know, when there's deficiency of this, you notice fatigue, you notice um, misshapening of the bones. So that is rickets, option C, um, berry berry. That's a um, deficiency of thiamine, B1. Pellagra, talking about uh, niacin deficiency. Um, scurvy, vitamin C deficiency. So the correct option here is option C for rickets. Number 18. One of these is used for excretion in F1. Okay, so we have A, contractile vacuum, that is in amoeba. Flame cell, we talk about flatworms. Malpigian tubule, that is in insects. Then nephridium, that is for earthworms. So the correct option here is option D for nephridium. 19. The following group of plants is the most advanced except what? That exception is the talophytes. Alright, um, they are simple, green, 
aquatic plants. Okay, example, your spirogyra. Here you're talking about the seed plants, all right? Talking about the fence. Here you're talking about liver water and mosses. So, the exception here is the talophyte. Option D is the correct option. 20. Which of the following hormonal glands is located on top of the kidney? All right, that is the adrenal. adrenal. All right, so I'm talking about the... Let me just go run a, a, a quick one. Talking about the thyroid. All right, thyroid gland. All right, so we're talking about the pancreas. All right, so the correct option here is option A for the adrenal. All right, so which of the following hormonal gland is located on top? Take note of that, of the kidney. That is the adrenal gland. So option A is very correct. Right now, we've come to the end of this video segment. But there are more video clips to come. All you need to do is to hit like that like button. Also, don't forget, tap on the subscribe button and always hit that bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we upload the next video clips all for you.